This is dirty conduct by an industry to take advantage of its ability to plant industry operatives in positions of public responsibility in order to leak more methane, put less equipment in place to protect against methane leakage, and reduce its requirements even to report on the methane leakage that is going on, that is not responsible corporate conduct. These rules are a disgrace. The CRA should pass, and we should get on to taking on this problem of methane. I'll close by pointing out that I have a bill that would do quite a lot to solve this problem. One of the problems in this whole enterprise of pollution is that when it's free to pollute, people will pollute. If corporations view themselves as having only an obligation to their shareholders, and only an obligation to their shareholders that is denominated in dollars, why would they ever spend any money at all to protect against pollution unless they were required to or unless it had a cost? We know it actually has a cost. People suffer from pollution. That's a cost. Our oceans are acidifying because of carbon dioxide pollution. That's a cost. People lose their homes in wildfires that didn't used to happen. That's a cost. My state has to plan to lose its current map to sea level rise and to lose precious shorefront land that's a cost. These are real costs. The industry just doesn't want to pay them. They want a free ride on everybody else's suffering. And one way to solve that is to put a price on the pollution. And by the way, this is not a liberal, democratic, environmental agenda. This is Economics 101. Milton Friedman, for Pete's sake, said that if you want to have an economic system that works, you've got to put what he called negative externalities, the bad things that happen that hurt other people. You've got to put the cost of that into the product. Otherwise, you don't have a market system. You've got a subsidy system. You're picking winners and losers. And as much as my colleagues on the other side like to say that they don't like subsidies and they don't want to see government picking winners and losers, when it's the fossil fuel industry that gets subsidized, when it's the fossil fuel industry that's the winner, they can't line up fast enough to subsidize and pick winners and losers.